good evening or good morning depending when you're watching this video uh, welcome back to another video and today I got some news uh, we had a preseason we have two actually two preseason games yesterday I had a watch along on the first one and the second one was not on Leipzig's YouTube channel uh, so I decided not to do anything on that one but we could see how we were quite solid on the first one a solid defense with Willy, Willy and Daveram for example they were top notch going forward Sheshko, um, Danny, Danny was okay and then uh, Xavi Simon showed why he's a good young prospect but on the negative side, even though we won, Benjamin Henry, he, he didn't look good when he fell down. So I really hope it's not a long time injury since we are quite... We don't have many wingbacks right now, especially with one of the news coming in a bit here. Uh, and also with Klosti out, it can be a big problem. So the first news I want to get into, Philippines Twitter today, just to Guardiol to Man City. Signing, signings missing, paperwork pending, but full agreements in media, base fee 90 million, included bonuses in the package, the total can rise to over 100 million. But here's the big catch. Dinamo Zagreb, who we bought Josko from, they will receive 20 million of the total of the fee. So both Leipzig wins on this deal, Man City wins on this deal and Zagreb wins on this deal. What amazing transfer for all of those. With the Guardiol news coming out, uh, it seems like the Luka Bar situation is getting closer and according to philippines in a later tweet um one hour ago while recording this he claims uh, lukaba wants to go to uh, leipzig but there are no official agreements yet and uh, this uh, mohammed simon khan rumors who has been going around uh, him going to marseille i think it was uh, there is nothing from RB Leipzig's side and to be honest I don't see the reason for Simikan to leave because uh, Simikan is a, a center back but he can also kind of play right back and with Henrik's situation and Luca's situation he could probably fit in there quite well and with the Euros coming next year, I think it's a quite important year for him to play in like Champions League, for example, and play in a top team. Now we're going to some sad news. Uh, unfortunately, Andre Silva is has been loaned out to Real Sociedad for one year, but there's a buy option for 15 million. And I kind of figured out this when we bought the Openda. Uh, the Chesku deal was done last year, so there was no uh, friction there. And Yusuf Paulsen not leaving. So it was kind of like, I think either Yusuf Paulsen or Andre Silva will leave. And this time it was Andre Silva. He's a great player, to be honest, but it's quite sad he hasn't really worked out if you look at the stats. Uh, he still won, won us two DFL pokals, which is amazing. But unfortunately, he, he seems like he will move on after this. This was all the news for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for future content and have a nice one. Goodbye.